Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. Hello, this is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marco of Living Streams International, bringing you Matters of Faith with Graphic Online. And this morning, I'd, I'd like to capture my thoughts with the word discussion of forms. No, 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 I don't mean to, 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 to insult you, please don't get upset. But sometimes you can, I mean, there can be a discussion of fools. Do you remember when Jesus woke up from the dead and then he met the two disciples on the Amos Road or Emmaus Road? And they were, and they were talking and they were wondering about the resurrection and all this. And they couldn't wrap their minds around it. And they were having a very, very, very serious challenge with the story of the resurrection. That is, they, they could not believe, and I use the word, believe that that was possible. So they were running it through their minds and they were saying to themselves, no, nah, this thing, the story doesn't add up. And they were going back and forth, I believe, with it. Now you look at what Jesus, when Jesus came and he began to explain the scriptures to them and explain things to them, how this, thing, you know what, what you call them? So, foolish. So I, I didn't call them foolish, but Jesus called them foolish. Do you know why? The whole reason for him calling them was an issues of belief. Issues of belief. So it, it was, it was, what do you believe? So what you believe can make you a fool or what you don't believe can make you a fool. So Jesus was telling you, listen, you are fools because of your own belief. So because of, you don't believe in this, you are a fool. And it is captured in the, in the book, uh, in the book of books, that's the Bible says, the fool says in his heart, there is no God. So, you know, Issues of belief can make you wise or issues of belief can make you foolish. And of course, I mean, we see it everywhere. I mean, why would somebody go and drink some potion, dangerous concussion from the mortuary? Belief. That makes you a fool. And so Jesus is talking to them that, listen, your belief has placed you in the zone or in the alley of fools. So what you believe or what you don't believe can place you in the alley of fools. And sometimes... You know, the, the discussion, that can, because out of the, the heart, the, the, the mouth speaks. So out of your belief, you make. For with the heart, one believes. But with the mouth, confession is made. So what you believe, by all means, will find an expression, and then people will know. When it starts gushing out of your mouth, everybody will know, this is a fool. So I didn't call you a fool, but your belief can place you in the alley of fools. Or... Your belief can place you on the pinnacle of the wise. The choice is always yours. Discussion of fools. See you later.